Hello there, you're watching Bernama today with myself, Deepa Palani, and we have a guest today from Magoo, uh, the founder of Magoo, Craig Jones. And in case you don't know what Magoo is, could you please tell us what Magoo products are? Uh, Magoo is an Australian skincare, comp uh, skincare company. We make natural products for people with skin problems. All right. Yeah. So we're going to be talking about skincare products and how you were saying to me before we started the interview, we should pay more attention to what's written at the back of the product because that's what, what, that what makes our skin better. And also, if in some cases, it can worsen the condition of your skin. So how do skin problems start? How do you think that people should begin paying attention to their skin? How bad do you think it should get before you start going to for, for checkups and stuff? Uh, skin problems start often in children. Uh, uh, skin problems in babies are much more common than they used to be. Yeah. And every year, uh, skin problems become more and more common. It gets particularly bad when your child is at school. They can be teased at school. So I think it's uh, the best time to start is when you have children, to start uh, looking at your skincare products in the same way that you look at your food. So mm -hmm. rather than look at the front of the product, you should be turning your product around mm -hmm. and looking through the ingredients and thinking to yourself, do these ingredients look like chemicals or are they something that I'd like to eat, put on my skin? So, mm. so concentrate much more on the ingredients rather than the label. Right. Yep. So do you think there are more people with skin problems now than uh, 50 years ago? Uh, I, I don't only think it. The research confirms uh, skin problems uh, have doubled in the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are a variety of reasons. So we, we get a lot more chemicals in our food, a lot more chemicals in our skincare. Um, there are a couple of other things. Uh, the environment is much more sterile than before. So that can possibly lead to more skin problems. So mm -hmm. um, a, a bit of advice for people with children perhaps would be let them play in the dirt a little bit, let them get a bit dirty. Uh, that helps their immune system develop. Uh, and helps avoid skin problems. Okay, yeah. speaking of babies, what should parents do if their baby have uh, a skin problem? What, what's the first thing they should do? Well, first thing is not to panic. Um, skin problems in children are very, very common and it's not contagious. Um, and uh, generally they, they clear up fairly quickly. Yeah. So the first thing uh, many parents will see would be scalp problems. Uh -huh. So they'll have cradle cap. Mm -hmm. which is uh, red scalp or red uh, cheeks, okay. um, they should get online and okay. do some research. I mean, the internet is an incredible resource for parents. It is. Um, and if they research what other mums are saying have worked, uh, that's the best thing. So don't rely on advertising. Get on, do your own research online. Right, that yeah. is quite a good uh, advice. Go online and check for symptoms that may look like what your baby is having. And um, uh, speaking of skincare products, what are the tips of buying a skincare product? What would you say? What, what should people look for when they buy a skincare product? In Australia, people are much more aware at the moment of ingredients. Yeah. So uh, every ingredient uh, in their products, people generally get online to check. So. Uh, I know it takes some effort to turn the package around and you see long words uh, and often very small print, the yeah. ingredients, but you should just take five minutes to, to not look at the models, uh, not look at the style of packaging, but to actually look at the ingredients and think, is that a food that I, I sort of would be comfortable on my skin mm -hmm. or does this look like some sort of recipe for a, a, a chemical bomb? Uh, that would be my advice. But because. In Malaysia, I think, as in Australia, people are looking now for a little bit healthier food. Yes, um, natural, yeah, that's natural right. organic food and things like that. Yeah. So speaking about naturally grown and organic, uh, is that what you use for your product? We use edible ingredients. Edible ingredients. Yeah, so and, and you know, because a lot of our products are made for people with children, ah, okay. uh, there's children accidentally get skincare products, put it in their mouth, um, and there's, mm. there's quite a few children that have accidentally eaten some of our products. Is it lead, like fatal, like people no, die No, not with that? our products. We, we, we try to use edible ingredients. Right. So all of the oils are edible. Uh, we avoid uh, this particular oil, which is a paraffin oil. It's paraffin oil. So this is what paraffin, what, what is it ex exactly? Well, remember, you probably don't remember, you're too young, but our, our grandparents used to use uh, paraffin oil to light uh, lamps. So remember those smoky lamps? Uh -huh. It's a petroleum oil. Okay. Um, and it makes a, it's very easy to make a skincare product with paraffin oil. Okay. Uh, and it's something we don't, uh, we don't like at all, <laughs> to be honest. Because it's bad? 
Uh, in it our opinion, effects. yeah. yeah it, it uh, there are some studies that show on children in particular, paraffin oil can, uh, in some creams, can uh, make eczema worse. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we will use oils like uh, olive oil or sweet almond oil, evening primrose oil. Any edible oil, uh, in our opinion, is, is better than uh, paraffin so oil. So I see you have some uh, products here. So are you going to show us? Um, yeah, you can, you can stand up there. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is Magoo. But all, all I was going to show here is uh, Mugu was started in my own kitchen uh, five wow. years ago and now we're distributed through 1300 pharmacies. Uh -huh. So all I was going to show was that it, it's possible to cook up something in your own kitchen, right. make your own skincare products. Exactly. Uh, you don't have to make a company out of it. Uh, I mean, our, yeah, our company I has grown. Yeah, I get what grown. you mean. Yeah, yeah, everything starts from home. If you can do it in your kitchen, you know what's going into your skin. So mm. you're familiar with the, with the ingredients, just like you were saying. Well, this is what surprises me in that people are very conscious when they go and buy food that they will look at the label and, and be aware of gluten or, or salt or um, sugar. In skincare products, uh, because it looks like a nice cream, people don't seem to spend the same amount of attention on the ingredients. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Mugu was started in my kitchen right. for my mother uh, and it, it's grown by accident from there. So, you know, now we're uh, one of the best selling skincare products in Australia in wow. pharmacy. Uh, and it, it's because I think that people can recognize our ingredients as something they would eat in the, in the kitchen. That's uh, very, very interesting. But moving on to the last question we have right now, where can a person, where the viewers can go to find out more about Magu products? Do you have your own website or Twitter page that we can um, log on to see? Yep, uh, I would go online and, and uh, if you Google Mugu, you won't only see uh, our company website, but you will see a lot of mothers talking about uh, Mugu. Testimonials. Well. No, internet forums, blogs, okay. uh, and that's your best place to do research for skin problems. So Mugu is not a miracle product, or, no. uh, and different products work for different people. Right. So if you've got a skin problem, I mean, look at Mugu, we've got a lot of stuff on, uh, to offer, mm -hmm. but, but go online and see what other mothers are saying, uh, see what people say online. Don't right. believe the advertisements. Don't believe the advertisements, that's what Craig is telling us. And with that, we're going to end this interview. It was a pleasure talking to Craig Jones from Magoo Products. And people, you should look into what you're buying. Check out your product uh, information at the back of the label. And stay with us. We have another guest uh, with Shafiq. Don't go anywhere.